APS is still closed while it tries to recover from that cyber attack. They're taking this time to come up with a plan to get kids back in the classroom. News 13's Stephanie Chavez is here with the story. APS isn't the first district in the state to fall victim to this kind of attack. Las Cruces Public Schools, the second largest district in New Mexico, had their own experience in 2019. It was a, a tedious process for our IT department. They worked, I know they worked, you know, 12 hour plus days, seven days a week. They worked through the holidays, Thanksgiving winter break, um, and they scrubbed between 25,000 to 30,000 devices in the district one by one. APS says the hack breached the student information system, which schools use to take attendance, contact families, and make certain people are authorized to pick up a student from school. They say operating without that system would put students at risk. Las Cruces Public Schools tell us their 2019 attack was similar to the one APS is currently experiencing, and it took them months to recover. The district, however, didn't cancel school. Instead, they transitioned into a pencil paper method of teaching. APS says it's not that simple. Before you can even go to pen and paper, you have to have access to the information that you've been locked out of. So you have to be able to capture in this district the names and information for 75,000 plus students to be able to arm the schools with that information to use when we open back up. Armenta says there is no timeline for when the system may be restored. However, they're confident at this time that school will be back in session on Tuesday. These two days are considered a cybersecurity snow day. They'll be made up at the end of the school year. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, APS is working on a backup for all of their online records so they can keep track of attendance and student records manually. Now, until a few years ago, parents still had to fill out registration paperwork by hand, and it was kept in their child's school back then.